All right, good morning. We're just packing up, having some coffee. Little DD. And yeah, we gotta go grab a bus. It sucks because it doesn't run on the weekend, so we kind of got stuck here all weekend, but whatever. We just kind of hung out and, you know, hung out in the woods, had fire. Guy kicked it. Watched the yard for a little bit. Um, but yeah, the bus is like on a commuter schedule, so it stops running way early. Whoops, geez. Big old mishap. All right? Yep. How bad? Bad, bad? Put him in cold water. Let me see. You can't tell right now. But if they hurt, just put them in, uh, stick them in cold water. Well, that's what happens, I guess. With fire sometimes. I've got it bad. I have, literally have a third degree burn. I'll show it one day. Third degree burn all the way from my elbow, all the way to my armpit. They were gonna have to do like skin grafts and shit, but uh, somehow it healed because it was on my elbow too. So like it, they thought I was gonna lose mobility in my arm because of it. And they were supposed to put skin graft on it, but somehow it healed correctly. And yeah, that shit sucked. Had to ride trains the whole time while I was healing. Like, took like six months for it to complete, finally, no scabs or anything like that. But, but yeah, I couldn't move my arm. Trying to throw a goddamn backpack on. <laughs> uh, it was horrible. Good times. Riding, riding the rails, huh, Bridget, Sylvia? Yeah. Back then, yeah. <laughs> Good old day. Yeah, it was terrible, like all, the, the hospital gave me first aid stuff or like bandages and shit for like you know like a week remember my foot too like my bad a little outside when i fucked my foot up what do you mean well with the spider bite yep yeah that shit was pretty bad and they wouldn't give me crutch they gave me one crutch one crutch yeah it sucks when you get like injured like out here and you ain't got nowhere to return. Yeah. 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 You got to be careful out here, man. Especially if you ain't got nowhere to go and recoup, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's when you're screwed. Um. But yeah. So yeah, we gotta go catch this bus and then. We're getting to another yard, and the plan is to get out of here tonight, leave town. But um, if that don't work out, it's not a big deal. The weather's still gonna be good for, I don't know, it's like spring is here, but I'm sure they'll, it's probably like fall, spring shit. I'm, I'm sure, maybe not though. Um, but yeah, it's like warm everywhere. We, shit, we were just looking at the weather, even up in like, central wisconsin it's warmer there than it is down here right now which is just i don't know i don't know if that's normal but it's mind-boggling to me because I, I but i'm not from out here so never really spent winter all too much up around this part of the country so but i've never even thought to look at wisconsin in the winter time like hmm, i wonder what the weather's like up there right now but yeah it's really nice I can see George going riding a train, he should. How nice it is out. Well, he's dealing with health and shit. Yeah, I hope he's doing all right. But he said he got to do that, uh, the chemo or radiation treatment on his face. What you doing, Bumblebee? No, don't play with the caulking, man. Leave the garbage alone. Yeah, it sucks. There's so much garbage up here because I'm pretty sure this river floods every once in a while. And it just, you know, brings random trash out here. But who knows? People probably just dumped. That's obviously that's a big old pile of tires. Is. 
But yeah, hopefully the damn bus stops for us because the last time we tried this with this bus, but we did it in the afternoon. So like there's like three buses in the morning and then three buses like around, you know, four o'clock, five o'clock. And uh, we tried getting it and the bus driver just fucking just shined us on, just kept going. I don't know what the deal was. She just kind of like put her, her arms up like, and, but there was like, but there was like people on the bus, but it was, I could understand if it was like packed because it's coming from like an like a UPS or Amazon or some shit. I could understand if it was completely packed, like, no, fuck you, you know, you you know, you guys, you bums with all your shit. But uh, there was like nobody on the bus, so I don't know what the deal was, but we're gonna find out today. Hopefully it stops and picks us up. You know. Yeah, it's so weird, because you got Metra right there. There's a stop there. They just don't even bother. But it is kind of seems like pretty ritzy area when you're coming in on the train it's like mansions and shit the huge houses really nice places so maybe that has something to do with it i don't know 9 20. all right got about 10 minutes and we can head over there all right well it's pretty long so we will see you later Bad dog, bad dog. Okay, I can... No, that's working. So yeah, we're here in Chicago. And waiting on a train, but something crazy. Not too sure. Sylvie was looking it up and pretty sure it's empty, but we're still not gonna fuck with it. But thing is huge. Oh. Oh. Look at that beast. Yeah, we're pretty sure though it's empty. I keep moving. Well, I gotta make this quick so the battery's cold. So, yep, big old wasp nest. But Sylvie had her. Alright, we found a black tarp that we thought was a tent. Pretty much made a setup. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, you can't probably tell, but look. So, we have a whole wall. My headlamp's pretty much dead. But we have a whole wall going around the camp. So, they can't really tell we're having a fire. It's perfect setup. And, obviously, like, so it's pretty cool. Home bum ghillie suit, dude. Yeah, here, I'll get my cell phone out. Because right now, until I get new batteries again, these like shitty dollar store batteries are pretty much not working. They work for like a day or two, you know. But, so we have the whole black tarp going around the whole area. There was a couple rats living in it, Virginia. But you just see all the rat holes. They were totally living in it. Pretty much destroyed it to put it up just so we could have this when we're waiting. So, you know, so under there, there's a sleeping bag that we pretty much dried out. But, yeah, it's pretty nice so far, so. Um, like I said, our train's coming out. It's about time how it came out last time, but all right, we'll see you guys hopefully on the train. Probably another move. 
because they usually got pigs on the back of this. But who knows, maybe that's what that move was. Kind of doubt it though. Probably gonna do another one.
on, but we should screw it.
remember when they were building this. They were building in uh, the summer of 2012.
on top of a walking path? Yeah. I need a blankie for her to see. To Birmingham last night. Uh, here, let me give you some more water. And we gotta make our way across. Well, it's not really super across town, but it's it's far enough. Um, you can take a bus there, but it's like three buses. And it sucks. 
because it does it all screwy it does because like as the crow flies from where we got to go it's really not that far it's like five miles or something like that but if you take the bus it you got to go like downtown so it just completely takes you out of the way it's three buses and yeah it just sucks but so i think we might even try hitchhiking over there because it's like two or three exits up and maybe we can just get a lift a ride over there try that for a while and then if that don't work go from there but yeah it's supposed to freaking start raining here the next few days so we're gonna try to hustle up and get out to Shreveport as quick as we can I doubt we'll get out tonight probably be out tomorrow which that's fine it'll work we need to go run a sign for a little bit damn yeah we haven't been over to Irondale and I think yeah since we got her so 2019 no idea what it's like over there anymore He's pretty bummed out last time we were here, so yeah, we'll see. We just need to make a couple bucks, really. I need to make a bunch. Come on. Come on. But anyways, yep. I guess we'll see you once we get over there, or at least over to the other yard. All right.